This is using a paintbrush and canvas to help with her chronic migraine pain. She says after years of suffering and doctor's visits, it wasn't until she began painting her migraine experiences that she actually found peace with her condition. As Molly McBride reports, MUSC neurologists say they can see how her method works. Now I know that as bad as it is, at some point it's going to end. Priya Rama has suffered from chronic migraines since she was seven. Amid the pain and pressure she experiences during a migraine episode, she says colors flood her mind. One of the migraines that I experienced at that time was extra colorful. And for whatever reason, I decided to paint that. By capturing the colors and textures she was experiencing on a canvas, she completely reframed her migraine experience. You're not doing it necessarily to hang things on the wall, but you're doing it to kind of take your mind off from that intense pain experience. Rama now travels across the country, showing her work at art fairs and shows like the show here at the Mary Martin Gallery that kicks off tomorrow. When I hear of somebody that's using art to help their migraine, I would think probably that it's it's a form of meditation. Medical University of South Carolina neurologist Howell Gerard says non-traditional treatments for migraines like meditation and Tai Chi can be extremely beneficial. He says mental health conditions and migraines are more similar than people realize because the chemical imbalances that cause migraines are not far off from those that cause certain mental health conditions. It's, it's maybe the similar cause, very, very different conditions, but that's why you see a lot of people that have mental health conditions also have migraine as well. Meaning he's not surprised to hear painting is helping remedy Rama's pain. I can understand why it works. Reporting for Life 5 News, I'm Molly McBride.